fellow mail adders and other random YouTube happen buyers. Um, I'm going to show you another trick uh, for composing or helping to cite academic resources using Google Docs. The first thing we need to do is we need to get an add-on. So we're in Google Docs, we click on Get Add-ins, and what we're looking for is something called ColWiz. So we click on that. Go through the permission steps. What this add-on does is it allows you to track and generate academic bibliographies and citations in Google Docs. If you've installed everything correctly, there should be under Add-ons menu. You go to ColWiz and click on the Manage Citations button. That will open up a menu over here. Now from here, you have two options. You can just search for academic articles online, or you can start to build your own library. If you go to your library, you'll see that you have to log in. I'll show you that one in a second. So I'm working on a mobile learning article. I want to cite it, so I'm just going to search. And this first one here happens to be the one I'm looking for. So I click on it, and I would have clicked in the document where I want to insert the reference. So I click Insert, and there we are. Now, that doesn't look exactly how I want it to look. So I go back over here to the Colwiz menu, and I click on Change Style, and you'll see there's a variety of different uh, citation styles. I want to do American Psychological Association 6th edition, change style, and that now looks a lot more like I want it uh, to look. Uh, once I'm done getting all of my citations done, I need to create a bibliography at the end, so I just click on this over here, this Generate Bibliography button, and I'm pretty sure that's exactly how it's supposed to look. Uh, no capital letters on any of the titling, um, page references, author's name, and done. A quick thing to show you, if you go back over to the Colwiz My Library and you log in, you'll see that everything that you have searched for online um, will show up in your library. So there's my article that I just looked for. This is one I had added previously. Um, I should note that there is a desktop website for Colwiz and a, a Chrome extension, which is how I got started with this, which is why these other articles are here. Um, but hopefully, as, as, you're, as you continue with research, if you, if you continue to use Google Docs and store all your information through there, everything will save in here, and then it's just a matter of finding the article you're wanting to cite, and then clicking it, and then inserting um, the reference as needed. And when it doesn't show up as you want it to, you just have to go back in and change the style. That's pretty much it. Hopefully that will help you out um, in the many, many papers that you have headed your way. Thanks.